What's up, outliers? Welcome to another Outlier Options Trading Quick Tips. We learned something new in three minutes or less. Today, we are talking about what is an implied volatility surface. Now, this sounds way crazier than it actually is. It's very simple. It simply plots the implied volatilities for each strike across different expirations. And there's a couple different ways that you can visualize this. There are simple versions like the one you see over my head. This is from Thinkorswim. And this simply shows in different lines, they represent different expirations. And then your X axis represents different strikes. And then your Y axis represents different implied volatility. So we can compare the strike volatility between individual expirations. We can do it across expirations. We can look at the relationship between different expirations and the overall gaps at different points. And another version that people are probably more familiar with is this here, which is actually you can create something like this in Python. But what it does is it essentially removes the three different lines and it combines them into a 3D model, right? So you can see that there's the same traits, but this case, again, you can build this in Python and it'll just consolidate these lines down into a 3D surface. So there's a couple different ways you can visualize it, but the information is about the same. We're looking for any anomalies. We're looking for the relationship of volatility. We're looking to see if the put side is much higher than the call side. That is very, very frequent. And that's typically for a lot of things like large cap stocks where people have big stock holdings and they tend to hedge risk to the downside. So puts get priced up a bit more. Then this typically means that there's a lower probability of a massive downside move and a higher probability of a smaller upside move. And then sometimes you can find names like GameStop, which is actually typically inverted where the call side out of the money calls will have much higher implied volatility than the put side. And this is also very common for names that are really expected to have these big upside potential moves. So you can learn a lot from implied volatility surface models. I actually have a video that goes much deeper into implied volatility. You can check that out on the channel. Be an outlier. See you later.